Unshaven and at times showing signs of emotion, Glass said he'd gone to Lebanon on a secret mission for the CIA. Reading from a prepared text, he said, many of you know me as a journalist, but few know the truth. I used the press as a cover for my main job with the CIA. The video was accompanied by a typed statement from his abductors. It said the tape showed the results of the first part of an interrogation of what it called the American spy Charles Glass. Further interrogation, it said, would follow. Glass, shown here taking part in an interview last January, was kidnapped in Beirut on June the 17th. Two weeks later, a group calling itself the Organization for Free People's Defense claimed responsibility. But until the videotape was released, there'd been no further news of the journalist. The poor quality tape lasts seven minutes. Glass, continuously referring to the CIA and his own involvement with it, ended the broadcast by sending a message to his family in London. I want to send all my love to my family, he said. I love you. She's laughing now. I would like to ask the kidnappers, please, to release our husband and to let John, my husband, to see his daughter because she is still young and uh, now she is two weeks old. I think all of you can see this beautiful face. I think it's tragic that um, John wasn't here when she was born. Both Bader and the baby now desperately need them. I hope the people holding our husbands will let them out now so they can help us and be with us again soon. I hope you, you're all fine. We love you all very much. And we shall go on doing our best and working very hard towards securing your release.